I'm hoping for a long hot summer and therefore a lot of woodworking outside. Last year I bought a Festool TS55 track saw and this year to try and save the mess in the garden I've made an additional purchase of this CTL mini vacuum cleaner. Now this model is not exactly the cheapest in the range. There is one other that is slightly cheaper but doesn't have the features that this one has and that model doesn't seem to be specifically aimed at woodworking. It seems to be aimed more at general cleaning. Once I had wrestled it from the box I couldn't resist but just to look around some of its features. There didn't actually seem to be any instructions. This pull out part seems to be the filter and to open the dust cabinet below you undo these clips. And this is where I found the instructions hiding along with the dust bag and some more components. There is only one dust bag included and I will need to be conservative with this as they're around £5 to replace. I'm not sure whether cheaper unbranded versions are available or if they're any good. I do know that Festool sell a reusable bag but it is very expensive and I certainly don't know if they're any good. If you do have one, please let me know. The cheaper model I mentioned earlier does not have the smooth O's that this mini version has. And I do not know if the O's on that model has this bayonet fitted end. So putting the vacuum cleaner on the bench for a closer look. Firstly, it has this braking system which lifts the two front wheels off the floor. On the control panel we have a powered takeoff, we have variable speed, a manual override and the big green on off switch. In the component bag there is a mechanism to store the cable and a couple of screws. Still being Festool couldn't give you a standard screw. But don't worry, Festool sells screwdrivers for this screw at £79 each. No, I'm just joking. The screw has a Torx head and the only Torx screwdriver I have is this really tiny set. So I needed to wrap the correct size one in a cloth just to keep my fingertips intact. And once this part was fitted, then it's just a matter of winding the cable round and round. At first I thought Festool had missed a trick on giving me somewhere to store the plug and then I realised it goes inside the lid. Right, let's fit the bag. The difference between the MIDI and the MINI that I bought is the depth and size of the dust storage compartment. So if you're going to make a lot more dust than I will with my track saw maybe the MIDI is a better investment for you. So the Festool bag is very well engineered and it actually sits in two clips, one each side of the dust chamber. And the outlet on the motor sits inside the rubberized ring. Now one thing that did take me by surprise was the amount of scuffs the wheels caused running round on the bench. So I'm guessing if you're using this on a delicate floor you may need to put down some protection. Right, let's fire it up. I quite like this variable speed function. I've never had this on a vacuum cleaner before and for me it will help reduce my noise. And if you have a Bluetooth saw rather than a mains powered saw, the Bluetooth turns on and off the saw. The dust hose sits in a recess inside the lid. Which means once it's attached you can close the lid or partially store the O's within that void. So the main reason to buy this vacuum cleaner is to keep it under my bench when working downstairs or outside. Would you actually believe it was raining when I was filming this? So let's try and suck up some dust 
and then attach it to my tools. The end of the nozzle pushes very securely into the back of the Festool track saw. For the last few months I've had the multi-directional dust bore taped to the CRTOs I have in the small loft workshop. And once I'd unwrapped all the tape, as you would expect, it's a perfect fit within the dust port. Now let's have a look at the powered takeoff. With the Festool track saw plugged in, when you turn on the saw, the dust extractor fires up perfectly and runs for a few seconds after turning the saw off. With a non-Festool machine, such as my Triton router, the dust extractor also boots up and boots down in the same way. The dust extraction hose also fits the dust port on the router perfectly. Now here is one thing that just slightly annoyed me, as this was the first opportunity I had for joining two sustainers together, my track saw case on the top, turned out to be more problematic than I thought. I expected that I would be able to open the old storage compartment with the box attached, but actually you can't do that. And at first I thought I was losing the plot, but after some research and YouTube videos, I realized that's just the way it is. Now here is a glimpse of the vacuum cleaner on its first proper run out. This is a project that will be coming your way over the next few weeks. It was pleasing to have no tidying up to do in the garden after an hour of woodworking. Confident therefore that this little vacuum cleaner will repay me in safe time. And I look forward to a summer of outdoor woodworking.